Now, here's one to ponder. Why are we generous and why are we sometimes selfish? New research suggests that being generous comes from spontaneity, while being selfish is a more considered position. David Rand of Harvard University has been looking into this and is on the line now. I guess this means that when we think about it, we have time to think we're not very generous. Right, or the more positive way of looking at it is that our first uh, response for our sort of <laughs> intuitions is to be cooperative. Right. Okay. I guess it is. Yes. So, what does it? What does this tell us about uh, human nature? Uh, well, I mean, it's, it gives an answer to this sort of age-old question of whether we're predisposed towards selfishness and only sort of act right through, uh, you know, conscious control, or whether we're predisposed towards cooperation. And we ran a set of experiments that seem to suggest the latter. Are there people who are fundamentally generous and some who are just fundamentally type? Is it a kind of personality thing? Typed, sorry. Yeah, uh, so I'm sure there are, there are certainly, there's a lot of research suggesting that there are these kind of fairly stable personality level differences, but actually what we were finding was much more about within individual variation. So like sometimes you stop and think about things and sometimes you respond intuitively and that difference uh, within one person across time was much bigger than the difference across people. I'm interested about what this might mean for charities, because I think about these people who kind of accost you in the street and try to get you to give money to their various charities. It suggests that that might work, because that does tend to be a sort of spontaneous de decision, whereas when you actually get the leaflets and go home and think about it, you sometimes think, well, I wish I hadn't done that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think that's presumably why charities spend money on having those people out there on the street is it's, you know, it is much more effective. It's obviously it's much cheaper to just send something to someone in the mail. But, uh, you know, that's it's much less effective. It's Susanna here on the business desk. What impact do you think this has in boardrooms? For example, perhaps some hot headed executive making rash decisions. Have you found any evidence of that in your research? I think it's a great question. So we haven't specifically looked at it in our research, but I think that there certainly are implications uh, in that kind of domain, in particular in all these kind of executive education courses that get taught at business schools and management schools. A lot of the emphasis is on how to be as rational as possible to avoid biases, uh, you know, like there's all the loss aversion and risk aversion and these various things that are sort of known cognitive biases that are bad for performance. But what our results suggest is an unintended side effect of all of that be more rational training might be to also be making uh, people more selfish. And Absolutely. how did you actually go about doing this research? So we had subjects uh, from all around the world that we recruited using the online labor market, Amazon Mechanical Turk. Uh, we recruited them to do a set of these economic game experiments. So people got put into groups of four, they got some money, everybody chose how much to keep for themselves and how much to contribute to a pot that benefited the whole group. Uh, so that was the cooperation task. And then we did things like looking at how long it took people to make decisions. And so the longer they took, the, l the less they gave. And then also things like forcing some people to uh, decide quickly made them give more, forcing them to stop and think made them give less, or priming them, like having them write a paragraph about a time they used their intuition and it worked out well makes them give more, or making them think about a time they carefully reasoned through something makes them uh, give less. David Rand of Harvard University. It's a fascinating uh, topic. Thank you very much uh, for joining us.